I turned on my garden lights the other day, the one marked up lights. Nothing happened. A bit disappointing. Being as they are LED lights, they have a transformer. It's sitting in here. So um, I'll open it up and I'm back shortly. It was connected to this. It's a generic one amp power supply. But do you think I can find another one that's this physical size? No. All you get is the wall warts. So I'm going to put in one of these. I've changed the power supply. I shall now go and turn it on. See what happens. They're not bright. They never were. We shall see. Must have something else wrong. I can only suspect one of the lamps has got water in it. I haven't got a dead short, but the power supply, disconnect it. Power supply works. Connect it. Stops working. Definitely a cable problem or a lamp short. That's for another time. It was getting too dark to see what was actually wrong. So I've left it for a couple of days. Um, here's the answer. All the lights have these LEDs in and as you can see, this one has corroded. Took this one out and all the lights started to work. In case any of you are wondering, this is the light fitting. It's um, corroded. Never mind. It's dark enough now, I'll go and turn the lights on. Yes, I know they're not overly bright. They never were meant to be. I thought you might like to know how I actually did it. I switched the lights back on again. I took the lamps out one at a time. If nothing else happened, I put the lamp back in again, knowing that, that must be a good lamp, even though it doesn't come on. When I got to the affected lamp, I took it out, and all the other lamps come back on again. Therefore, I knew the one I'd just taken out had a problem. If I had taken all the lamps out and then left them out, I wouldn't have known which one had a problem. But by leaving them in, and then removing the dodgy one, it meant all the other ones lit up when I removed the dodgy one. 